Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I hope you're doing great. And in this video today, we're talking about great health benefits of fenugreek. Well, if you're not familiar with fenugreek, today we shall see what health benefits it has and why it is great for you to add it into your diet. Well, I personally got familiar with fenugreek when I was breastfeeding my baby and it is widely used for increasing the milk production and improving the quality of milk. So, well, fenugreek I normally use, I'll just start with the way you could um, simply use it. I love fenugreek tea and I will just show you I am using this uh, brand and um, it is organic. Well, I used fenugreek in the form of a tea, but it is a plant that is native to Middle and Near East and it is also widely used in India. Fenugreek has small round leaves that could be dried, so you could use it as a dried herb, you could use it in the form of the seeds, you could use it in the form of the tea, which might be made from the seeds or the herb, and also you could use it in the form of a supplement or even greened the fenugreek seeds and have the fenugreek powder. Fenugreek is used in cooking, obviously, and curry powder is actually the powder that has many spices in it. And fenugreek is the one that gives curry that special flavor. It has really a pungent aroma and has slightly bitter taste. But what's great about fenugreek is that it is also used for herbal healing. Most health benefits of fenugreek is due to the presence of saponins and fiber in it. It contains iron, magnesium, manganese, vitamin B6, copper, protein and dietary fiber. So now let's talk about the great health benefits. So the first health benefit I would mention is that it promotes healthy weight. Besides, it's really good for improving body's overall metabolism. It is a natural fat burner. It helps with digestion and ma it makes you feel full longer. It kind of suppresses your appetite because of its fiber, its soluble fiber. It swells in the stomach and suppresses the appetite. It improves the tidy of food. It's a fat burner and it improves the digestion. So these are the three three key factors for maintaining a healthy weight. It also helps to maintain healthy blood sugar level and that is also good for people suffering from diabetes. It contains an amino acid that improves insulin action. And as we've mentioned before, it contains fiber that slows the sugar uptake in the blood. There was a two-month study on uh, the patients with type 2 diabetes and it showed a drop in their blood sugar levels. Researchers also reported better insulin sensitivity. So it is also good for people who are trying to prevent the diabetes and just, you know, make sure that their blood sugar levels are balanced and under control. We've mentioned that digestion could be improved by turmeric greatly and it is true because it soothes your tummy, it reduces the gas and the bloating because of the sap-like substance in the seeds. It swells in your stomach. It can help with the heartburn, gastritis and even constipation because it adds the bulk to the stool because of its high fiber content. If you're constantly suffering from indigestion or if you have stomach ulcers, obviously you should um, you know, continue taking all the medications, consult with your doctor, but it is also a great idea to have fenugreek on hand because it helps to treat stomach ulcers and it also lowers the inflammation in the intestinal lining. The next health benefit, which is also great, it helps to lower the cholesterol. Well, the bad cholesterol in our bodies that might promote the arteries to clog and then those clog, they become stuck in the vessel. So it is really, it is really great for supporting your heart health and prevent various cardiovascular diseases. What is the mechanism for fenugreek lowering the cholesterol? Well, it is high in fiber. Besides, uh, it contains saponins and saponins prevent the absorption of cholesterol from food. Plus the fiber forms the liquid which binds to bile acids and removes them. This causes the liver to use body's cholesterol reserves to make more bile acids. Well, just a tablespoon of fenugreek seeds will provide you with 11% of dietary of your daily dietary fiber intake, which equals three grams of fiber. Among other benefits, we could mention that fenugreek help to reduce menstrual discomfort also minimizes the symptoms of menopause. It helps to monitor a number of hormones in your body. This way, it keeps many bodily processes in line. It is also very soothing for the sore throat caused by pain or cough Traditional Chinese medicine recommends using fenugreek for the patient suffering from various kidney conditions. It is high in antioxidants, so it really reduces the inflammation in your body. It is also beneficial to use for wound healing. It helps to protect your immune system, might be also used to reduce the fever and muscle aches. In the beginning of this video, I've mentioned that lactating mothers, they will tremendously benefit from using fenugreek because um, of its ability to improve the quality of the milk and also increase the milk production. And as you, if you've, if you've ever, um, you know, if you're familiar with the topic and you've um, used those special nursing tea 
tea for the mothers. Fenugreek is almost every time one of the main ingredients in them. There were also studies done which um, proved that if you're using fenugreek on a daily basis, let's say in a powder form, not in huge amounts of course, it really helps to fight off the cancerous cells in your body. That is showed that the extracts of fenugreek really help to prevent the formation of cancer cells. Specifically, it was effective in pancreatic, breast and prostate cancer. The same study also indicated that fenugreek was effective against human colon cancer cells. So now let's talk about the ways you could use fenugreek. I've already mentioned that you can get it in the supplement form. You could use, my favorite way of using fenugreek is in the form of the tea. I normally just um, get a tea um, and it smells really nicely to me. I really, I'm a fan of uh, fenugreek tea and I like this particular brand because it comes in a rather clean tea bag. I really like it and there are like tiny, tiny seeds. There are like round seeds but not really in the form of a powder and then it is really simple to prepare the tea and um, you can enjoy up to three cups of this tea daily but the only thing is you need to really cover it and wait for about 12 minutes for it to steep so you could get all the benefits of it. Now another, I've mentioned that if you could consume and add it to your dishes, you could get the seeds, um, you could get the seeds. Uh, I normally don't get um, a lot in bulk because um, if you make the powder you really end up with a lot of powder and even for cooking, if you use it for cooking, you don't want to use a lot because of its uh, bitter flavor. So um, that's, so as you could see, I hope you could see it here, the seeds are really, really small. So and uh, um, I would again recommend organic tea and organic seeds whenever possible and you could also use the leaves of fenugreek while they are actually nutritious and many people do think that they taste great. You could use fenugreek in any curry dishes, they are so good in soups, stews and marinades. But keep in mind again that fenugreek has a little bit like bitter taste so you don't want to use a lot. If you want to reduce that bitterness a little, there is a way you could roast the seeds it will bring down the bitterness a little. If you're using the leaves, you could saute them in butter. That will also improve the taste. You will even be able to sprout the seeds. How great is that? They're so tiny, but they're wonderful for sprouting. Now let's talk about the amount of fenugreek you need to take. Well, for if you're going to take fenugreek to treat any condition, health condition, you do need to consult with your doctor. Um, I should say up front here, as far as the allergic reaction, so if you're not, for, if you don't know, right, um, start with a small amount every time you are going to use it, you might experience an allergic reaction, which would be in a form of indigestion, gas, or bloating. You know, see the doctor right away if you're experiencing any of that, and obviously stop taking fenugreek. So now if you're going, let's say, to take it um, for the milk production, like right for the lactating woman, you could take up to 5,000 milligrams a day, which is a standard dosage for the supplement, would be like two, three capsules a day. However, if you're going to use a fenugreek just as the general health booster, you would need to use smaller amounts. So let's say if you have a capsule which is uh, 600 milligrams, so you could use two of them or three of them every, every day. So this is the smaller amount of the fenugreek. Well, if you're using fenugreek in the form of a tea, as I've mentioned, up to three cups could be enjoyed a day. If you're using fenugreek in the form of a spice to just, you know, for your cooking, obviously you just use the amount needed and there are no restrictions because you cannot really use a lot when you're cooking with it. So I hope you guys like this video. Now you know about everything about fenugreek, how it looks like, how you could use it, what are the best ways to use it, about its health benefits and its really long valued medicinal value. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. So as always guys, I wish you to stay very happy and very healthy. I wish you to enjoy every single day of your life. I'm here on my end. I'm really trying to collect um, the information about various natural things, you know, herbs, um, you know, talking about this video that might be really helpful for you that you might enjoy actually adding to your everyday life that would help you to boost your health and you know probably you will find something that will make you feel better besides if you are into you know healthy lifestyle and healthy lifestyle changes this might also be beneficial for you because sometimes we hear claims about certain things which are not true or you definitely know that there is some caution so I think that um, watching this video or maybe just listening to it is a great idea because it's easier for you. You don't really need to look for any information and you don't really need to read anything. So it saves up the time and um, I really do hope that it was informative for you. So if you like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.